Okay, so for your quiz, I would like for you to make this VI that, I, that you're showing on the screen. The way the VI works is it is emulating a solar panel by Sharp, ND-24QCJ. This is the solar panel. And the sun's brightness controls the intensity of the graph when you run it. If, if the sun's brightness is full max 100%, um, then it goes, then it generates more power. Also, you can control the number of solar panels. If you only have one solar panel, you're only generating 0.24 kilowatts. But if you have up to 100, so it, it just multiplies the number. Um, also, you can hit stop. Here in the, that's inside the while loop. So notice that the number of panels is controlled by this multiplier. Um, you have the kilowatt hours here that's multiplied. You have the sun's brightness and they all go in here to generate the uh, solar energy generated. Now I did want to show you that the things that I used was of course I used the while loop which is located under structures while loop. Um, I did use the sign pattern, which is under signal processing, signal generation, and then sign pattern. It's not the sign wave, like the example we did in class. It's actually the sign pattern. Okay, and then this is a new block that it's called build waveform, and that is under waveform, build waveform. So other than that, you should be good to go on creating. Oh, how do you do the build waveform? Let's show that really quick. Build waveform, you put it here, you stretch it down one, you right click on the attributes and you select DT. That's how you get that to show up. Then you just simply wire those up. Okay, good luck on the quiz. You have the whole class period. And I want you to upload your files to Dropbox. Actually, you can hand it, you can turn it in on the due date, which you'll see on Moodle. Make sure you turn it in on time, and that date will be shown on Moodle on how long you have. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.